Hi. Did you hear last week that Maine Medical Center is dropping Anthem Insurance Company as a preferred provider as of January of next year? That means that the 300,000 people who are insured by Anthem in Maine are going to have to provide even more money and pay more money for their health care than they already do, if you can believe that. So Anthem is, uh, well, Maine Medical Center is saying that Anthem owes them $70 million plus. And Anthem is saying that Maine Medical Center has um, overbilled them by $20 million plus. So here they are fighting over $100 million. Now this fight between the largest insurer and the largest medica medical provider in Maine is giving us sort of a rare glimpse or a big fat exhibit A into what is so broken about our healthcare system. So first of all, you need to know that Anthem last year in one quarter made over a billion dollars in profit. A billion dollars in three months, which was a thousand percent increase over the last year. And that's just for three months. May Medical Center CEO earns over $2 million a year and they end up with a plus side on the ledger for the hospital and for their healthcare system. This kind of outrageous money does not belong in healthcare. When are we gonna wake up and see that we need to provide universal care like every other industrialized nation in the world? You know, during the pandemic, we've had a little glimpse of what universal health care might look like. So when we needed a vaccine, we got one and for free. When we needed a test, we got one and for free. And when we needed care for COVID, we got one and for free. So that's what it would be like. But let's think for a minute about why they made this free. They made it free because they wanted us to be healthy. They wanted us to protect ourselves. They wanted us to not get sick. They wanted to protect the public. Isn't that what we all want for everybody, for all illnesses, all the time? Isn't that what healthcare is supposed to be? Well, apparently not if you're an insurance company or a drug company, because if we're well and we pay and we do something to keep us well, well, then that cuts down on their billions of dollars of profit. The time for universal coverage is now. So the governor has told Anthem and Maine Med to get back in the room, go back to the table and sit down and put the interest of Maine people first. I couldn't agree more. Let's put the interests of Maine people first. And the way to do that is to provide universal coverage Coverage, coverage for every single person in Maine, universal coverage, Medicare for all. That's the way we provide for the interests of the people of Maine. But apparently that is not on the table.